I've got this Weld MIG um, penetrant and um, developer. So this is to identify if there's any cracks in the, in the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, the cleaner first and then wipe that dry. It says here to spray the penetrant, which is stage two, and then leave it for 15 minutes. That'll get into other cracks if there are any. And then uh, wipe away any of the penetrant from the surface. Use the cleaner on a dry cloth, wiping in one direction only. Wipe dry and then shake and then spray the developer. Leave for 10 minutes. So I'm going to apply, apply these now and we'll see uh, if anything develops. I'm hoping not. It is a cast iron head. Generally, the sound is normally aluminium heads that uh, can uh, be more vulnerable to, to heat and distortion and cracks. But uh, we'll do this now. So if there are any cracks in here, unfortunately the head will be scrapped unless anybody's really good at welding cracks up and then machining it flat again. Sometimes it is possible to bring back heads but in this case it might not be. So there we go. So I've put the cleaner on and now it says to spray the penetrant. It does say here, do not shake before use. So I'm going to uh, spray this now and leave it for 15 minutes. Nice pink colour. It is quite a big can. You don't have to use that much. I'm going to do the exactly the same thing to the block and to see if anything develops in that as well. I've let that penetrant soak in now, I've rubbed it in and now it's time to use the cleaner to clean it off using cloth. Do not want to get this dye on your fingers like I have. I don't know if that's going to come off for a while. We'll see. I've just sprayed on that developer now and it's all gone white. And it says to leave for 10 minutes and see if any cracks appear. So far, so good. Nothing appearing on there at the moment. So to check if a head is warped, I'm using two simple tools, an engineer's rule, a nice solid rule with a nice flat edge on it, and for a four cylinder engine, the general rule of thumb is to use it 0.1 of a mil feeler gauge across the length of the head or the block, or 0.05 of a mil across the width. I'm going to use the feeler gauge to check if at any point the feeder gauge goes under the, the ruler, of course avoiding any of the water chamber or the oil chamber, it, both sides of the, the head or the block like that. So if it goes through then we might have a, a head which is warped and therefore it may require machining or in worst case scenario it might be a complete scrapped head. It's possible to use a smaller feeler gauge but so far that is okay across there and now go diagonally across
all with intolerance so far. And again, diagonally across between the, the chamber as well. And then across, a width-wise, using the 0.05 mil there between the chambers there there and last but not least across the end so what I can do is I can confirm that this head has no cracks in it and is not warped in any way of shape or form I can then begin to reassemble this head onto the engine